it's um it's great for you to have that love of history and like you said i mean there's such great patina and interest and stories behind everything and and those stories change when the light changes and as the seasons change and it's a different story every time so that's very very cool to seek out the not expected things i think um, so tell us about like during this quarantine this has been a crazy six months of time for an artist um, and tell us how that's affected you and inspired you and impacted your work. Oh gosh, uh, this year before the lockdown happened in March, I was scheduled to teach in Montgomery. I was scheduled to teach a workshop in Selma. I, was, I had bookings all the way up until, you know, August and even into the fall. Um, I was supposed to go to, um, down the mobile for another event that's circling around birding. I, I create bird art. I have my taught my own bird and nature art journaling class. And I mean, this year was going to be everything. And then, <laughs> and then everything fell apart in, in March. And, you know, it really, it, it knocked the wind out of my sails because I'm like, I, I worked so hard all these years to get to the point where people are inviting me to shows, inviting me to teach, and all these things. And now, right before it's going to happen, the somebody pulls the plug out the wall and i talked to my younger brother about this and he's like-minded like i am we we love our passion we love what we do and i was like if i can't have it plan a i'm going to come up with plan b to continue to make art continue to share it and during the quarantine i taught my first class online which is something i always didn't want to do because i felt like it separated me from the student i always want to be there in your presence i want you to you know, to talk to me, ask me questions, point to what I'm doing. And that all gets taken away from me. But the opportunity came where I can teach online. So it really forced me to think outside the box. Um, and since I wasn't doing all those shows, I stayed home and just paint. Just, um, I have a good offer that says, get that brush mileage up, get your mileage up. Um, and then the more I started doing these small paintings, these six by six, five by sevens, just knocking one right out the other, just going and going, I started to learn things about myself in those sessions. Something I couldn't learn if I did like a great big piece that takes three months to do, I can do uh, these small ones, 30, 40, like within like two months time, whatever, and learn all these different techniques, find out what worked, what didn't work. And it really forced me to reevaluate why I paint the way I paint. Um, sometimes we can get such a hurry that we just go on autopilot, but when the brakes get slammed on, it really forced me to think, you know, why do I use this color as much? Can I use uh, a different shade of yellow instead of this one I've always been using? It forced me to rethink everything. And it's been kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, it has been a rough year, but I really am the type that want to find opportunities when things go wrong. There's got to be something that can good can come out of this situation. I just had to look at it different. 